So let's move into um, our update for today. Um, and as we know, we expect more cases every day. Uh, what we are trying to do in, in, uh, is to, what they call flatten the curve, is to make sure that we have uh, enough health care facilities Everyone who sees a photo of Ruby just loves her. I've done a few cartoons of her that were also loved. That gave me the idea to draw a bunch of poses I see her in throughout the day and release them as digital stickers on my Etsy store. As much as I want to keep working on the drawings, it's a beautiful spring evening outside and I want to take every moment I can to enjoy it. Today started out sleepily, and I worked on my drawing of Ruby. It was another lovely spring evening, and I got a few more photos of my pear tree at sunset. Of course, I was accompanied by Ruby. She always wants to be with me when I'm outside. spring grass must be the sweetest. Josie and Ruby munch on it every time they come out. All of the blooms in my backyard are starting to reach their peak, so once again I can't keep myself away. weather is so nice. Not too hot, not too cold, maybe a little damp, but that's okay. Whenever it's raining, I always have a strong urge to bake something. This evening I'm trying out yet another banana bread recipe.
This recipe did stress the importance of using a true 9 by 5 inch loaf pan. Mine is 8 and a half by 4 and a half inches and all of the other bread recipes I've tried have baked in it fine. So this one should be okay, right? as well put on record that baking mistakes happen. I'd love to nap all day, but I've got plenty to do, so it's time to get the tea started and have breakfast. I've started coloring my little rubies. I think she's looking really cute. It was a sunny but blustery day and the flowers beckoned me outside. I'm putting the final touches on my ruby drawings today. They will be ready to release soon. My photo idea today is to use some of my outdoor flowers the banana bread I made, and of course, a cup of tea. I want to use a spot on my hearth where the sunlight hits it. It doesn't take long before my little investigators arrive.
I'm having trouble getting a composition I like. Right now, I'm seeing a lot of empty space in the corners of the photo. I'm trying to fill the space with the little vases and scattering some extra flowers around. The light is starting to go fast, and I'm getting pretty stressed, so I'm going to give these two curious kittens some toys to play with so I can concentrate. have to move Josie too, so I am just waking her up and apologizing. The light is getting to a point where I just need to take the picture or have no picture. I'm trying out a different spot in the kitchen for my tea things. A gigantic microwave sat here, but I don't need it anymore, so I was able to free up this space. I'm not sure I like making tea over here though. It's really dark and far away from the sink. I'm heading to the backyard this evening for some more nature therapy. I thought I'd try a photo of my teacup in front of the blossoms, but I didn't like the photos, so I gave up on that idea. Ruby was excited to explore, so I stayed outside with her. Maybe she'll let me get her photo. While we stood there enjoying the old redbud tree, we were treated to the sun picking out of the clouds just before it set.
thank you for joining me this week.